Welcome to Prince Math Clinic, the e-learning solution at your pace and time. Good day, viewers, and you are welcome once again to Prince Math Clinic. Now, before us today, we have this interesting question on Froston. But before I go into the question, let me first of all explain what a Froston is. A Froston from that word is, a, is derived from a Latin word, which means a piece cut off. Now, in measuration, when you have a solid, what's a solid? A solid means an enclosed shape. When you have a solid, whether a cone or a pyramid, now, cut in such a way that the line that cuts the cone and the base this happens to be the base if you turn this shape upside down this would be the base so it's believed that it's cut from this particular portion right so when the base and the piece right that is being cut off right are parallel that portion that has been cut off from the main cone itself is called a froston. So the question now is that we want to find the height of this particular cone when it is still whole, when it is still one. Now let's go right into the solution. I want to complete this cone and this is what the cone should look like. It should look something like this. This is the froston, the part that has been cut off. Now from the question, we have been given that this is the height of the froston. So let us, the height is H, then this remaining part, we are going to call it something. Let's call it X. So that the general height of the froston will be H. plus x that means the addition of this and this gives us the general height of the cone now the question says that the top diameter is twice the bottom diameter that means this if, it, if this is two times of this so if the radius of this and this for instance so let us call the radius of this small arrow Then this is double of this. So this becomes what? Two arrow. Now, if I now draw a line like this. So what it then means is that I have a triangle that looks like this. Such that this is small arrow. This is my two arrow. Then from this point to this point, we we'll call it X. Right? Then, from this point to this particular point, we call it what? H. Remember? Good. So, if I'm to make comparison, now, I will make comparison within this small triangle and this larger triangle. So, the ratio of the sides of the small triangle is R over X. Then, for the larger triangle, I meant, remember radius to this particular height, so I want to do radius here, which is 2 arrow. Then the height here becomes h plus x. Now, I want to further evaluate this or simplify. If you cross multiply, you have 2 arrow x equating arrow multiplied by h plus x. Now, remember, I am looking for height, which is h. So I'll divide both sides here by arrow. By arrow. Arrow will cancel arrow. Arrow will cancel arrow here. So I have my 2x to be equal to h plus x. So if I bring x to this side, it then means that therefore, my h will be simply 2x minus x. 
So what does this mean? See, that means that my h will now be what? 2x minus 1x will give us just x. So that means that my h is equal to x. So that means that this h is equal to x, or you say this x is equal to h. And since we are looking for the height of the cone, I want to look for that height in terms of h, because that is what we are giving. We only introduce x, right? So therefore, this h plus h, which is equal to what? 2h. That is the solution to this question. So kindly like this video, share it to your friends and loved ones, and together we will all enjoy simplified maths. Bye for now.